As of several hours before posting this video, Steam Database has officially confirmed that the leaks for CSGO and any Valve associated game has been available to the public. So the source code for Team Fortress 2 and CSGO has been leaked to the public. The files date back to the 27 Hydra operation and I would like to quickly just remind you guys how to stay safe from this leak. So do not play any games affiliated and made by Valve themselves. This leak has affected, as we know, all of their games. Make your Steam profiles private as the Steam does include API leaks and hackers will be able to duplicate items or even steal them from your inventories. So like I said, stay safe, take this advice. The user at 2 eggs has been on Twitter explaining how this whole event has unfolded, explaining how Tyler McVicker, the man behind Valve News Network, had access to the Source Engine license. The files for Source Engine were used in Lever Softworks, which is a Source Engine modding community. One of the employees leaked the source files due to his bad intents. The identity of this employee is unknown as of this moment. Many people are blaming Tyler McVicker due to the chat logs that were additionally released. Link will be in his description for this. However, he claims that these logs date back to October 2016, and he mentions that he is in contact with Valve's legal department as we speak. A lot of servers, including myself at Cyberbound, advise that you do not play any Valve associated games as there, as there is a remote execution vulnerability that can allow malicious code to be executed on your system by just simply being present on the server. This is really big stuff. Executed code can turn you into an aimbot, for example, obviously resulting in a ban. So please refrain from playing on any Valve gaming titles until this has been announced by Valve that we have the all clear. What I'd like to touch over now is what does this actually mean for CSGO? Firstly, Source 2 may be released for Counter-Strike sooner for damage control reasons. You may think that this is actually a good outcome, but think again. Rushing the developmental process for Source 2 due to this leak can and most likely will cause bugs to occur later down the line. This is obviously what we do not want. Here is a quick video of Tyler McVicker talking about the situation and what is going to happen next. Make sure that is the takeaway of this. I did not leak the code. Um, the person who leaked it in the first place was, I knew was going to do this at one point. Um, unfortunately, the person whom this is all being caused by and is anonymous in this situation um, always kind of led it, it always seemed like that this person was going to snap and do something like this uh, the people who will truly be affected by this are TF2 and CSGO players for the well no just TF2 players because the CSGO code base has, has changed quite drastically um, who leaked it originally so I'm not gonna dox people, uh, but I did uh, send both the information on the person who leaked everything to 4chan and also uh, the information on the original leak again. It is kind of unfortunate for the timing of what has just happened. CSGO just hit its peak player numbers recently, topping out at around 1.3 million concurrent players, and Source 2 predicted to be in the game within this summer or within a few months from now. The situation has actually raised a few questions for me. What does this mean for Valorant, the competition for CSGO? They are planning on releasing a ranked matchmaking in the coming weeks, and will this harm Counter-Strike's already new growth? We'll have to find out. I will put a link in the description to the forum where you can actually try out this leak for yourself, strictly for educational purposes only, so I will not be liable for anything that happens. On the screen you'll find some interesting projects which I've found. As you can see on my screen right now, there is a user who is explaining how he has full client control using Telnet, which is already built into the CSGO client. And there are some interesting projects going on just like this. The only downside I think to this whole thing is that CSGO's growth will be harmed and the cheating community for Counter-Strike will actually be blossoming if anything, which kind of does suck for us. But hopefully Valve can address these issues very soon. They have been known to address patches in the past very quickly. We'll see how quickly they will respond to this or if they will.